Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to install and deploy light HTTPD server on Ubuntu 15.04. Now we already know in my previous videos I have already demonstrated various content management systems and even the deployment of LAMP using Apache web server. But rather than Apache web server we are having other web servers also. So Light HTTPD is one of the open source web servers which is available as compared to Apache web server. So what is it all about? why it is important, what are its main features and how to install it, I am going to dis uh, demonstrate you in this video. Now if you can see on the screen, I have already opened the main website of Light HTTPD, that is lighthttpd.net. On this website, you can find all the information and even the downloads regarding Light HTTPD server. Now if we talk of what is Light HTTPD, it is basically pronounced as Lighty and it is regarded as the open source web server and is optimized for speed critical environments while remaining standard compliant, secure and flexible. It was originally written by Jan Kasnake as a proof of concept of the C2010 problem and how to handle 10,000 connections in parallel one server but has gained popularity worldwide. The stable release is was released on January 2, 2016, about 48 days ago. It is Light HTTPD 1.4.39 version, which we are going to install in this video. Now, if you talk of the application support, Light HTTPD supports the fast CGI, SCGI, and CGI interfaces to external programs, allowing web applications written in any programming language to be used with the server. As a particularly popular language, PHP performance has received special attention. So Light HTTPD can be configured to support PHP with opcode catches. So we will be also installing the PHP module in the Light HTTPD in this video. So if you talk of the features, it contains load balancing, fast CGI, SCGI and HTTP proxy support. It is having CH root support. It is web server event mechanism performance support for more efficient event notification like KQ and EPOL, TTLs or you can say about a TLS transport layer security, SSL with SNI support is also there. Flexible virtual hosting, module support, cache meta language, minimal web dev support, lightweight, single process design with only several threads. So Light HTTPD officially does not support sending large files from CGI, FCG, fast CGI or proxies unless XSend file is being used. So let us go to VMware machine and let us install Light HTTPD web server. So let's open VMware. I have already started Ubuntu 15.04 and I have already logged in into my account that is with Anand. So let us start the step-by-step -step installation of Light HTTPD web server on Ubuntu 15.04. So let us first of all log in with root with the command same that is su space minus and let us give the password. Now I have already told you in almost all my videos that before you start any uh, you can say deployment or configuration on Ubuntu it is the first primary responsibility for a good administrator is to update the system. So we can give the command that is apt hyphen get update. So let us update the system and then we will be installing light HTTPT web server. All the steps are available over here and we will be using very simple steps to install light HTTPT server and all the commands which I am going to tell you in this video are available downstairs. So use as such copy paste you will be able to deploy the server. So now the system has been uh, updated. So let us give this command that is apt hyphen get install light HTTPD so that we can install and download the web server and install it. So you can see it is about 400 KB of archives. So let us press Y and press enter. It will be downloading and it will be installing the light HTTPD web server. So now it is unpacking and configuring Ubuntu with this. So next step is to start and enable the services. So let us clear this. So let us restart the database server so that we should not find any problem by configuring PHP modules in the later part. So let us start this light HTTPD server. It has been started. And now let us enable the light HTTPD server so that it can be able to restart when it is booted. 
so now you can see that it has been enabled so now if you want to check it so let us first of all know the IP address of this machine so give the command that is IF config and you can find that it is the IP address which is 192.168.117.204 so let us go to our Windows machine and let us try to type this IP address So now you can see that I can able to see and view the page of light HTTPD and viewing of this page means that light HTTPD has been properly started and it has been properly installed and configured in my Ubuntu machine. So let us return to this machine and now let us install the PHP 5 modules. So give this command. So copy it and paste it. So you require about 14.1 MB of archives and after that 60.3 MB of additional disk space will be used. So no problem in that. So press Y and press enter. So it will be integrating all the PHP modules. So it will not take much time. About a minute. So after that we will be enabling fast CGI with light HTTPD web server because it is capable to enable the fast CGI that is called common gateway interface. So 50% is already been downloaded. So let us wait for 10 to 12 seconds more and it will be finishing it. So we are almost there. Oh yes, so voila, we have downloaded all the PHP modules and now it is unpacking and configuring PHP into my Ubuntu machine. So to enable fast CGI, let us first of all copy this command that is light httpd hyphen enable mod fast cgi so copy it so let me clear this and let me paste it so it has enabled and now let us paste this command so now we have to restart and reload the web server so let us type this command systemctl force hyphen reload light httpd you can see over here you can even run this command but i recommend to run this command so that now the re server has been restarted. So now let us uh, edit this file that is uh, with the VI editor and let us type this command. Let us go, go to the insert mode and type this command so that we can find the PHP information. So let us paste it. WQ and now let us go to the same web page and let us slash, let us press enter again and let us type this IP address now that is info.php. So now you can see that the PHP version 5.6.4 has been enabled and we can able to ready to host our PHP websites on the light HTTPD web server. So I hope you like this video. In this video I have demonstrated how to install light HTTPD server and how to install PHP modules and how to enable PHP with light HTTPD server. So do give it a shot. Do try to integrate more and more PHP websites using light HTTPD server and believe me it is very fast, it is very convenient and supports more than 10,000 connections at a similar point of time on the server. Thank you. So